H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you will see like uh, it'll get hanged. So now you can select here which which browser you want. See here, if I want to run the project by default in Google Chrome, I can click on this Google Chrome. I can check this and run the project. Okay, I can click here. Some of you have Google Chrome as default option. So now when I run this project, you can see that the code will be dis visible in Google Chrome. Now. I will see the source of this code. Right click on this view source. You can select the option view page source. When you select the page source, you can see that how many text boxes I added? I added two text boxes. And what is the code I added for second text box? Strange, right? I added I added ASP colon text box. But 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 I'm not seeing ASP colon text box. What I'm seeing here? I'm seeing both are same. Did everyone notice here uh, that both are like input type, input type equal to text and this is also input type is equal to text. But I gave here in the code, ASP.NET code, I gave here ASP colon text box. So what is happening is your .NET code, whatever you wrote, will be converted to HTML code by something called IIS. So Windows R, Notepad, MS Paint. So whenever you write your say for example .NET controls, ASP.NET controls, ASP.NET controls, that will be converted to uh, so that will be converted to HTML, HTML code by by IAS. So what is IAS? Anyone knows it? What is the expansion for IAS? Internet Information Server internet information server so mostly dotnet projects will use ias as a server and java j2e projects will use tomcat server anyone heard uh, this tomcat server in your college days or somewhere you would have heard this tomcat server which is used by java j2e projects for microsoft dotnet we use ias so here when you are doing asp dotnet all the controls will be like this asp colon ASP colon and you will have some code some tag and when you are working on Java J2E it will have something like this JSP colon JSP colon anyone anyone saw like this JSP colon so now anyone knows what is ASP stands for ping me in the chat window if you know the answer ASP stands for No one knows it. Anyone knows what is? Uh, I got a message from Srikanth. Active server page. Perfect. How about JSP? Anyone knows about what is JSP stands for? Please ping me in the chat window. JSP stands for what? Yeah, it's Java server pages. Okay. So now, whenever you write, uh, whenever you write ASP colon some code. ASP colon tags will not be understood by the browser. Your browser will only know HTML. Browser will not understand ASP dot, ASP .NET code. So now what happens is when you put ASP colon text box ID is equal to this and when you mention runner server, runner server tells to the server, IAS server that okay I need to do something here. What the server will do is when any control which has runner server it will convert this asp.net control to .net html control if i remove this runner server your your ias will not convert this and your browser will not know this see now let me stop this i removed this runner server for this text box and when i click on run see what happens now when you remove this runner server your server ias will not know that it has to convert to html so now when I click on view page source, you will still see ASP colon text box. 
but do you think ASP colon text box tag will be known by your browser your browser will not know your browser only knows HTML code so it will not know what is ASP colon text box and it cannot display it cannot display your HTML text box here is it making sense everyone question to everyone who will convert ASP.NET code to HTML code yes I got answer from everyone so ASP.NET code will be converted to HTML by IAS and what is the mandatory attribute what is the mandatory attribute that you have to mention so that IAS will take care of that control what is that you have to add so that IAS will convert that dotnet code to HTML code you have to add one attribute if you don't have that attribute your IAS will not work will not take care it is run at server run at server run at is equal to server that tells to the server that okay server will come to the picture and that that will act on this then it will convert see now run at equal to server so when I add this run at server now let me stop this and now let me run this now your server will understand that okay there is a tag called run at server let me see that and let me convert that to HTML so now if you see view page source you can see that input type equal to text okay so let me close this now now why this dotnet has become very popular so why I need to write this into ASP text box instead I can directly write input type equal to text box why I why dotnet become very famous and, and uh, even lot of projects even when in early days when uh, web web website started okay so Java JTE was in the top form like mostly 90% of the projects are in Java JTE okay so just a second just a second now uh, when dotnet started I mean like uh, in early 2001 2001 and 2000 is the one when uh, dotnet framework 1.1 or 1.0 started that time mostly almost all the projects are using uh, Java JTE and slowly when .NET picked up like .NET to version uh, 1.1 or then uh, 2.0, 3.5, 4.1 dollars so the number of projects in .NET keep on increasing so now if you see Java is having very tough competition with .NET so now, now most of the projects are in .NET and Java JTE okay? and mostly the projects uh, small companies uh, uh, or a startup companies will still try to use uh, Java projects because Java is free okay so I mean it's op it's it's something like open source even Eclipse and all you will get it for free you can download from Eclipse website so we use Visual Studio and Java projects will use Eclipse but Visual Studio you have to put you have to buy the license and you have to use it but Eclipse is a free open source tool okay so but still with Microsoft you will get a lot of support when you buy this uh, tool in case if you face any issues or any problems then you will get the help from Visual Studio team Microsoft team for resolving your issues and whatever it is so now let's see uh, why this is very famous let me add one control called calendar control so ASP colon calendar and ID is equal to calendar and then run at server okay now I have added a simple tag ASP colon calendar ID is equal to calendar run at server so let me run this and see how it looks like see here we are seeing a calendar with how much code we written we only wrote one line of code and you're seeing a calendar here so if you want to design the calendar by yourself you will take at least three to four days this calendar you need to know HTML you need to know JavaScript you need to know a lot of things to do this calendar but using dotnet visual studio you have done this with a single line but if you again see the source if you see the view page source it will not be ASP colon calendar see here a huge list of code came here table TDTRs almost the every lot of code is came here so who added this code all the code has been added by whom please ping me in the chat window you are not seeing here ASP colon it's added by IIS because your IIS knows that okay I need to render 
I need to render the HTML code for a cat render because they have asked me to render by adding run at server. So this code, one line of code has brought you a lot of very beautiful calendar there. So that is the difference. This is one example of a calendar but there are so many controls which are inbuilt by Microsoft which you can reuse for your projects. So if you want to design a website, you can design in one day. In one day you can design your website by using a lot of inbuilt .NET controls. So that's the reason why most of the uh, top tier companies are opting for uh, Visual Studio, opting for .NET because they have a lot of inbuilt controls. They are keep on up upgrading their versions. Even even now it is like 4.5 version .NET framework 5.0. A lot of versions will be keep on coming from the Microsoft side. So that's the reason why most of the top companies are opting for going for Visual Studio project, Microsoft projects. Is it making sense? Everyone, is it clear? Is it clear what is the difference between HTML and so you don't have a calendar control in HTML okay so it is there only in .NET like this there are a lot of lot of controls if you see here when you click on view when you click on view and when you go for toolbox you can see here a lot of controls let me stop this stop running this project it's taking some time let me stop running this project are you guys clear now with the difference between dotnet dotnet code and html code everyone yeah so if you see here there are a lot of controls calendar control image button label link button list box lo localize multi view panel radio button so like this there are a lot of controls which you can just simply drag and drop which you can use it so which cannot be done with simple uh, HTML code. Okay, so so I I'll summarize here what we discussed today. All the .NET controls will start with ASP colon text box or ASP colon something. ASP colon should be there for .NET controls. Your Visual Studio web application can have both HTML and the .NET controls. You can have both HTML and .NET controls. For all the .NET controls, for all the .NET controls you have to have run at server when you have run at server your IAS or internet information server will convert that dotnet code into your HTML code there are some other uses of IAS I'm not I'm going to discuss later but for now assume that your IAS will convert your dotnet code to HTML code and your do you think H browser knows the dotnet code everyone do you think your browser knows dotnet code I mean ASP.NET control the browser will not know it that's the reason we when we uh, when we didn't add run at server we didn't see the text box okay so what is the control which we learned today dotnet control to see a uh, one liner added a, uh, added a big calendar so we learned about ASP colon calendar okay so so we learned about IAS, we learned about ASP colon .NET, ASP colon control, uh, how to add it, and we learned about what is the use of runner server. Okay, and we created a empty web application, and we worked on uh, added a one web form, and we executed that using Visual Studio. Okay, so with this knowledge, uh, from the next class we'll try to proceed uh, and we'll try to understand how to create what are validation controls. So the agenda for next class is, which is again very important, so we are going to discuss on, sorry not this one, let me open the course content, yeah, we are going to discuss on ASP.NET controls, text box, drop down list, check box and all. We already saw it in HTML, so I advise everyone to refresh your HTML code before coming to next class. So spend some time on learning what is the text box HTML code for text box, what is the HTML code for drop down list, what is the HTML code for checkbox. Okay, randomly uh, one of you can explain me uh, all this HTML code. Uh, you can keep it ready in the notepad and you can just explain how to what is the HTML code for this. Is it fine, everyone? Okay, so one of you can explain. Uh, we discussed the seven controls. So one of you can explain all the seven controls. Okay. Yeah. So